Hey guys, it's the Cinnamon here, and we are going to interview facts of a guinea pig. So and questions and questions about a guinea pig. I forgot. All right. So here's our guinea pig. It's right here. I said in the last video. Her name is Coco. She's really sweet. <laughs> yeah, look. She will lick or nibble on you, and it doesn't hurt to nibble. See, she nibbled on me, and she kind of licked me. And fine. So where are the facts about us? Do you, if you guys want to know if guinea pigs bite a lot, it says sometimes guinea pigs will bite you you when they mean to nibble on themselves. This can be an indicator of mite or fleas. If discomfort or pain is a concern, exam right away. <laughs> if, she flips her ears. If your pig is nibbling, come back here. If your guinea if your pig is Nibbling or biting well, while you are holding it, it may need to get down to your neck. Do you like my phone? Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so do guinea pigs get their nails clipped? Very young guinea pigs' nails are short and sharp. Guinea pigs kept as pets generally require... require that was a sharp one. Stop it. <laughs> generally require nail clipping as their nails do not receive enough wear to keep them at the proper length. So people put a stone or brick in See? their pet. See? Guinea pigs reading too. In their pet's cage and the hope that they will wear down the nails so trimming is unnecessary. But you can still get your guinea pig's nails trimmed. Here we go. You want to read another fact about you in your friend? Yes, she reads. This guinea pig is not like an original one. It actually reads. Yeah, we trained her to read. Well, I did on my own time. So, because I was reading a book to her and she was reading it. So, she, yeah. So, do guinea pigs have to go to the vet? Um, so, whether you own a cat, dog, ferret, guinea pig, or any other pet, regularly veterinary care is an absolute must. Smaller animals are just prone to illness in larger ones, and guinea pigs are certainly no exception. Make sure your precious guinea pigs, aw, see that? Our precious guinea pigs, pig sees the veterinarian for a thorough checkup at least once per year. And you can also take them to the vet to see what gender they are for sure. Or you can figure out how to, I, I'm not sure I should put that on YouTube. Okay, so, cause I figured out what gender she was, but I'm not telling you how to do it because it's just wrong, so. Well, okay. the guinea pig's a girl. Okay, so yes, she is a girl. Do guinea pigs need shots? That is a no-no. They do not eat shots unless they get really sick. Oh, yeah. They cannot even, have shots in, injected into their body because they're really small. Even even though that they, even though, even if they get sick, they still do not need vaccinations. They can just get a medicine from the vet or something. Don't ask me how I know this. Um, I'm just an expert with animals, and nibbling does not hurt. Yeah, see? Look. She's just gonna nibble on my finger, I can tell you that. She's kinda licking her. She can nibble on hair too. <laughs> yeah, she's nibbling on everything, but it doesn't hurt, at least. It doesn't. Okay, so if Gavin. If you get mad at me for filming this upside down, don't, because it's not my fault. Yeah, it's my fault for my phone. Okay, so my phone direction. Don't you go off that red bed. Okay, so, um, are you licking my ankle? Okay, so, um,. Kevin, what other questions should I ask? What maybe, should I answer? Maybe you should answer to her. Well, guinea pigs don't talk. But what um, questions do you want? they make squeaky sounds. What does it mean? Let's do that. Maybe they talk. No, no, guinea pig, don't go. Uh, Toco, don't go off the bed. Guinea pigs happy when they squeak. Whistling guinea pigs will often let out a high-pitched squeal or whistle. These noise means your furry friend is excited. 
Perhaps Aww. about feeding time or playtime. Purring another one guinea pig s sound is the purr, which may make your guinea pig seem more like a cat. These purrs have can have different meanings. Well, that's really cute that when she squeaks, it means playtime or feeding time. And She's either hungry or excited. Or excited. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. What was that? That's a little squeak because uh. I touched her butt on accident. <laughs> we never heard her make that sound, but she does fart. Kenny picks fart. It's really funny. Yeah, it's really funny when you fart. <laughs> Did you just poop on me or pee on me? Okay, yeah, we here. forgot to mention this is a gross fact, but guinea pigs poop or, and pee a lot. Yeah, um, that's a really weird fact um, and gross fact. But also, guess what? Yeah. The other day, this little girl right here peed on me on my shirt, and I had to change. And she peed on my leg the other day. Hey, do you like the phone? It's bright light to her. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps, like, flopping your ears over, so I'm going to keep the camera on the guinea pig so to see what it does, but if it, until you come up with another fact. Go. I'm going to come over here. Right, Isabel? Okay, well. Come up with another fact. I already have. What does it mean? What does it mean when... Oh, she's okay. sniffing the bone. It's so cute. Giddy. Popcorning? It's popcorning when they hop. Popcorning? What does that mean? It means they hop. Okay, so popcorning... Popcorning is a name for an, for an unusual behavior that many guinea pigs exhibit which involves them running backwards and forwards rapidly, jumping into the air and over and over again. These guinea pigs are jumping and popcorn with excitement. That means they're really, really excited about something. So, like, popcorning is when they get, like, super excited and they start hopping. Well, that's really fun. So, we've never seen her hop. I have. Like, she does it all the time. Isabel has. I haven't because I'm not in the room much. Oh, no. So this is what the cage looks like. I'll show you what it looks like. Be careful around the cage. Oh. So that's what our cage should be like. It's really huge. And keep, keep in mind some things in there are buried in there, so don't worry if you think that some things are missing. Yeah, so this is, how you, this is kind of an opening right here. But um, so here's how you open. there's a green egg glue with some toys, a ball, and yeah. some a drink. Here's, you know, how, something outside. here's how you open her cage. You take this little tabby right here, and you take the bar right here, and pull this bar back, and put it under it, and then open it. That's and that, a safety. That's called safety locks on yeah. there. And so this green igloo, here. notice right here, is what this guinea pig right here likes to play in. It, it goes, Coco goes in that a lot. They also, um need toys like they need toys to keep them calm also another fact fun fact about them their teeth never stop growing so yeah. that's why you so should f get so them to sticks sticks to gnaw on if you don't know what the okay. sticks look like it's ball will get some sticks in the meantime wait until our commercials for the guinea pig Here's all right the little stick of hers it's a little twig it's a little twig. That's all it is. Just a little twig. It's for guinea pigs. Not for your everyday something something. Open your little mouth and chop on it. Okay, whatever. Maybe she doesn't want the stick. I'm not working to. I'm an because there. those sticks keep their teeth from growing. If their teeth grow too far, I don't know what happens, but something real bad happen. They can um get like infection on their bottom of their Mouth. Ow! You so, have sharp claws, lady. Yeah, and that's how you pick them up. Put two thumbs about their um back, you, and you, then you put your hands under their belly, just like this. Put them on top of each other, and put your thumbs on top. And if you want to hold them like a baby, you put them sideways, and then put your right arm under here, just like this. She probably doesn't want to be picked up. She's probably saying, "Play time or feed me." Here we go. 
probably should feed her some food. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some hay real quick. Yeah, they eat hay and treats. And I want to show you a funny fact. See how it just like did that? Like, they're gonna see how it eats. If it does eat it, there you go. I'll show you what um it looks like. That I was gonna show you. Um, this is what her ball looks like. She keeps tipping it over. And usually, she we give her a ball or. We gave her a ball and to play with, and she just steps on that to get the water. So I guess it's her stepping soil now. See, look. So this is what her hay looks like. Of course, she has, like, a lot more than that. I just grabbed a little handful for the video. Yeah. So she doesn't starve to death. And also, she loves playing with this. I don't know if she's going to play with it right now. But she loves playing with this. It's my Pinkie Pop. Yeah, she loves playing with that thing. If she's done eating the hay. She loves going inside of this when the baby's not in there. It's, like, so cute. I saw it smells. The baby smells. Good. That's a good scent to it. That has nothing to do with guinea pigs on that last part. But anyways, I see his forehead. So, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, So, yeah, that's all the guinea pig yeah. facts we can show you. We have a couple more, though. All right. Okay, so, Gavin, what do you think that it means if they shake? Well, I think, honestly, it kind of means that they do something weird so back to you okay so i'm gonna look up that actually and tell you the fact what does it mean when guinea pigs shake if you have any more guinea pig questions just Even post it in the Put, just leave them in the comments down below. Yeah, leave them in the comments down below but, if you have any more guinea cook pig questions you want to ask. We'll yeah, figure them out. Yeah, but um, this is the answer to what it means when guinea pigs shake. Here's the little passage. Okay. And we'll tell you where you can find a guinea pig. Yeah, well, I got mine at Pet Supplies Plus down in Altoona. Um... She's super sweet, and the people that work there are super nice. And did we ever tell you that um, guinea pigs' ears are super sensitive? They're because they're related to bunnies. So the bigger their ears are, the more sensitive their ears are. Yep. So now back to the um, shaking thing. All right. If you're holding your guinea pig and notice that his body is shaking, it probably means that he's quite happy and content. And content. A guinea pig that is at ease and joyful can express his emotions by vibrating his body. Along with his shaking, he will often vocalize his comments with some squeaks or purrs. So basically, it means they're like really happy and like excited and all that other stuff. So basically, when they squeak or do anything, it means they're excited. So do you want some water? I'll go get you some water. Yeah, guinea pigs need lots of water for a day. If they don't, they'll go dehydrated. And they might have to eventually be. And if the water, if they keep going out their water, that might mean they don't have enough water or they just can't get the water out of their tube. So you might have to squeeze it, but not too hard. Squeeze the water from your cage. Maybe she didn't want water. But she is chewing the hay, though. But you always want water after you're See? Dinner. Chewing the hay. But you always want water after you're done with the hay. What's wrong with the hay? Maybe, she, maybe she's not done with the hay because she keeps chewing it. Okay. And I'm surprised she hasn't pooped yet. She usually so, poops everywhere. If you have any comments, go on my channel. It's called Isabella V or The Rocco Show. I'm not sure. Um, right now because like it got I got signed out so I was like whoa what's happening
thing so like it's either is it gonna be or the Rocco show and um it's one of those and if you have any questions just go on my channel and find a video and post it put it in the comments below um if you have any more questions about guinea pigs and you can also go down on Gavin's channel yeah on this video it's my channel it's a cinnamon you can subscribe to me and, and peace and also one more extra fact before i end this video is that ham i'm not hamsters guinea pigs actually when they hop or not hop um shake then that means they're happy i already mentioned that but um what if you're afraid here's the question if you're afraid of them what if they bite if you pet them that's not a like they won't bite you so that's not our, a true fact our older brother uh stop it our older brother um his name is dylan he has a channel too um, he's gonna post most videos on it yeah he's afraid of um my little guinea pig here so like don't be afraid of them because they're so cute and you got your hay in my mouth because they're so cute and friendly. Yeah, they're so cute and friendly. If you're afraid of petting them, then don't. Because even if you are, then just be brave and pet it. Because but those things are really not, sweet. They don't bite at all. Like, they only forced, nibble. We're not, we're not forcing you to. We're not forcing. Oh, you just licked me. Okay. We're not forcing you to hold them. Or pet one. Or get one. It just if you want to. So They're really cute animals we recommend you get. So if you, so if you are a starter and you're looking for a starter pet, this is a great one. She's so friendly and so easy to take care of. And one more fact: you have to change their water out daily, their hay out daily, their food out daily, and change their bedding out weekly. Yep, and that's where my video is gonna end. So subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Put that notifications bell, and please subscribe to my videos, and put a like, Honey. one like for one cute hamster no. pet. Hamster. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.